Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very quick little video, a little um, tutorial on how to do weekend washi. I have gotten this requested both on YouTube and on my Instagram for this video, so I'm gonna do it today. All right, so I have some different types of washi here. I'm working on a plan with me right now, so I took a little break to do this with you. And they're all different widths and patterns, which is what I like. Um, this is a lot. I don't know if I'll use all of them, but maybe. Who knows? Um, so I've got some really skinny ones. I've got one big one and then some standard size ones and then some medium size ones. So this is what we're working with. And the idea here is that we're going to use scissors and cut some banners to go under the weekend banner. So the way that I do this is I take my washi. Some people have requested to see even this. Okay, so I fold it um, so that the inside is the non-sticky side. So it's sticky side out. And then I like to do a very shallow flag. And so I cut diagonally, but like, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's very, very slight diagonal so that when you open it, it's like a very shallow flag. Okay, and then I will just stick this off. So usually I will just cut a bunch and then lay them down. And I usually start with like the biggest, like the width, the widest width. And I usually put the big one in the middle. Now usually I don't like to go, some people that you see doing this, they go like really, really far down and it takes up like two full box sizes on the weekend and I don't like to go down that far. So I usually just kind of try to keep it like to there, if that makes sense. Okay, so we got one big one, we got a medium one and then I just start putting them kind of wherever. If I'm using a fewer amount of washi, then I'll like repeat them. But since I have quite a selection here, I'll just go ahead and use a bunch of them. So I start with the biggest width and then I work to the smallest width. And with colors and patterns too, like I don't want any like um, two polka dot ones. I don't want those beside each other. or like two of the same color. So I'm not gonna put a pink like right next to the pink. There's a lot of people that do this. Um, I got this idea originally from Nikki Plus Three. Um, and then I saw Megan from Soda Pop Studio doing this as well. I know there's other people who do it as well, but those are the two that really got me into this. I don't do it every week too. If I have like a really decorative weekend banner, I don't do weekend washi. Or if it's like a really busy kit, like there's a lot of stuff happening, then I will leave this off. But if it's something like this week that I'm working on right now, which is kind of like a, I wouldn't say leftovers, but it's like a makeshift Frankenstein kind of thing, I'll do this just to bring attention and interest. Now I leave the little tails up at the top. So I'll show you how I get rid of those in a minute. And I'll always move them around. That's what I like washi. So I'm gonna lay these down and then I'll look at it and make changes. If they're a little crooked, it's fine. I don't worry about it too much. Once they're all down, you can't really tell anyway. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the thinner widths.
All right, I've got one more of the uh, kind of medium size, and then I will get into the skinny, skinny ones. You don't have to do this many. Um, I just did that many because it was fun. I like all the different patterns. So I'm just repositioning where I feel like I need it. Okay, and then I have these two left and I'm gonna fill in the bald spots. And these I do repeat sometimes if I need to. So this should be the last one, and I think I know where I'm gonna put it. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, I see just one little problem with it. I don't know if you catch this. So the pink is standing out really, really boldly over here, and then there's no pink or anything like that over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pink, I'm, I need to balance it out a little bit because this, like the navy and the pink together is like really heavy compared to this side. So we're gonna add in one more pink strip over here. And I'm gonna move this one over here. Okay, that looks good. That feels a lot better now. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna turn it like this. And I'm going to slice the top, the top off. Now, I've got some washi behind it already as like a banner or a header kind of thing happening in the back. So I don't need to go all the way to the top. So I'm just gonna go right here. Now I've got several layers to go through. So I don't need to press like super hard, but I definitely need to get all of those in one. Let's see if I got them all. So far so good. Yes. Perfect, okay. Now we have a straight-ish line and I'm going to take, um, I think I want the pink actually. Okay, so we're gonna take this pink. Actually, no, I wanna keep this a little more neutral. I'm gonna take this burlap and I'm just gonna do one line across the top to cover the edges. Like this. Okay. And last thing is I'm going to take this weekend banner. Line it up just like that. And there you go. You got yourself some weekend washi. It's really cute. I like when it's like stubby like this because it doesn't take up a ton of space, but you still get like some fun happening underneath your weekend banner. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below and I will get back to you right away. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.